never laughed so much. You've nearly wet yourself. My friends and I do that all the time. We may not be particularly sporty. Gifted in the musical department. But my goodness, do we know how to have fun? We know our jokes are terrible, but that's part of the joy. My name's Jessica and I'm 10 years old. I'm in year six at Colgrave Primary School and what I'm about to say may sound strange, but I love school. Okay, 23 seconds. Tell your partner all you know about um so I will be your true and I want The truth is, school is a place where I can just be myself and have fun. Don't get me wrong, I work hard, but I play hard too. Home is tricky at the moment. I love my mum and dad, but they don't love each other anymore and it's kind of hard to be around. I cannot believe you. I told you not to get in the way and you spoke to her anyway. She's my friend too. I deserve... You don't deserve anything, you stu- So you see, school is my only escape. I know things will get better at home, but for now, <laughs> school's the place for me. <laughs> the thing is, I have this secret and if anyone found out, well, let's just say they'd be laughing at me, not with me. I'm going to paint them all black and put gold stars on my thumbs. Isn't that what you did for tears, Bonnie? Yeah, but I really liked it. You said you liked it too? Yeah, last month. How about you, Angela? I'm going to paint them black. No stars, just black. My brother says it's really sophisticated. Yes, dark colours are in. Your brother knows. Too focused on making everyone laugh. Look at the state of them though. I bet they don't even moisturize. They just don't care, do they? Right, I need to find Carrie to ask her what she's wearing to Leo's party. Oh, she had to stay and finish her work. Yeah, she got in trouble for playing on the phone. Some people have no self control. I'm Regina Park. I'm 10 years old and I'm fabulous. If you need to know about the hottest trends or the latest gossip, I'm your girl. I'm going for my night shift now. Daddy, could you get me a baby chino before you go? Uh, well, if you don't have time. Of course I do, Poppet. Thanks, Daddy. I have strict rules with who I become friends with, what I eat and what I drink. I don't have time for foolishness and I can't be bothered for working hard. That's somebody else's job. Regina, could you collect in the books for me? Don't worry, Regina, I'll do it. Oh, you're an angel. I have the best friends in the world and everyone wishes they could be me. The thing is, I have a secret. And if anyone finds out, I'll be ruined. Manuel, bed! I tried to put it down an hour ago! Sorry, I was just 
Honestly, your sister's been asleep for ages. Mom, I'm not gonna be able to sleep now with you blabbering right now. Blabbering? Good night, Mom. I love you. Hmm. Good night. Love you. I, Manuel, as you can see, I love reading. At the moment, I'm reading an amazing book about Americans founding fathers. History is incredible. It's my favorite subject at school. Does anyone know when World War II started? 1939. 1st of September, 1939. Chris? Mm, 1985? What? Come on, it was 1939. Not quite. Bounce on to someone else. Sarah? Um, 1940? No, that was World War One. Good try, but that was when World War One started. Bounce on to someone else. Uh, Daisy? Was it 1945? Nope. That was when it ended. Someone must know that it was 1939. Ah, that's when it ended. We're getting closer. One last bounce. Um, Jessica? I think 1939, wasn't it? Huzzah! I've always liked that Jessica. She's funny, but she knows her stuff too. Excellent, Jessica. Well done. As you may have gathered, I'm not much of a talker. I love reading and I love learning. I'm just not a huge fan of speaking in front of people. Have you been to see the Harry Potter exhibition yet? No, it looks amazing, I really want to. I don't mind talking to Chris. He's a good friend and loves all the same things as me. He's much more confident than me, but he's always happy to hang out with me and not get involved in everyone else's business. Ow! I said watch out, maybe if you weren't talking about books so much you would have heard. Excuse me? Oh, hi Regina, I didn't see you there. Clearly. I was just warning Manuel that he needs to be more careful, but... But now you're very sorry? Yeah. Say, say it then. I'm very sorry. Say it to Manuel now. I'm very sorry, Manuel. All is forgiven. I'm glad that this misunderstanding has been cleared up. Make sure you try hard to control your equipment, Mom. Yeah, sorry. All is forgiven. Now be on your way, please. Thanks, Reg. But you didn't really need to. Manuel, Pa, you are my brother and I won't let anyone be treating me like that. Understand? Yeah, but... But nothing. Edna, are you okay? Are you hurt? No, no. Sure. Let me know if Mo has to go you again, okay? You really didn't have to. Okay? Okay. See you later, bro. Your sister is so cool. Did you see the way she... My sister and I have never been alike. We're polar opposites in every respect, except one. We have one huge thing in common, something which for various reasons. Neither of us want anyone to ever find out about. Ever. Mo, wake up, you lazy layabout! Mm. It's 6.30 a.m. What have you been doing? You need to clean that bathroom before you go to school. And the kitchen's a mess. Your party. Mo, are you up yet? Yes. Excuse me? Yes, Mom. I'm up. Ah, Mums. Aren't they the best? I'm Mo. I live with my mum. She's having a bit of a weird time at the moment. Dad left a while ago. Good riddance to him. But Mama's taking it really badly. Mo? Oh dear, Mo? Yeah? I mean, yes? Mo, are you paying attention? I, um, uh... I'll speak to you at the end of the lesson. But miss, we've got football. I'll speak to you at the end of the lesson. 
Football is just about the only thing getting me through at the moment. I know I should have been paying attention in class, but I can't help thinking about other things, like where my dad is now. Ah, this is the life. I bet he doesn't even miss us. He needs a family anyway. He's so much better off without them. Yeah, well, we're much better off without you, Dad. Mo, are you daydreaming again? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. I... Well, talk at playtime, Mo. I expect more from you. You're not the only one. Yeah, I think you know what's about to happen. I messed up. So now I'm going to shout at some poor kids who've got nothing to do with it. Oh, there I go again. Another charming interaction with Mo Silla. The thing is, if I ever showed anyone how I truly felt, I'd end up telling them about my biggest secret, and that would definitely end badly. The thing is, if you really must know, I've never told anyone else, but I can do... I've always been able to do it. I think I was born with certain powers. I'm just not very good at controlling them. I remember the first row I ever cast. It was amazing. I turned myself invisible. The only trouble was that I didn't know how to reappear again. My mom and dad were looking for me for days. It's weird that Regina and I both have magical powers, especially since our parents don't. Apparently, 3% of the population can do magic, but we all live in fear of being found out and sent off to labs for testing. Last year, on my birthday, when my dad was still around, I really wanted a biscuit, but I was tired after playing football all afternoon. I sort of wished it over, and then it just lifted into the air and flew into my hand. My dad saw, and I think that was when he decided to leave. this amazing talent but nobody can ever know about it. Imagine all the attention we would get if people found out. I would rather be stuck in a room with Mo for Mo. Ugh, Mo. What if he found out? Dad left when he found out. I can't lose anyone else. Good morning everyone. Good morning Miss Pendragon. Good morning. Well, how lovely it is to be standing here in front of you. As you may know, Mrs. Andrews is now enjoying her retirement in Switzerland, so I now have the wonderful job of being head teacher here at Colgate Primary School. Pendragon, I don't care what Mum says. I'm sure that's an old magical name. Is she a witch? Why isn't she trying to hide her secrets? <gasps> oh no! Where she knows about me and Regina? She knows. Oh no. What are we going to do? I wonder if Regina has realised. Blouse, 4 out of 10. Blazer, 2 out of 10. The colour's okay, but would it hurt to go to the tailor? What's on her finger? A ring. Ugh, it's hideous. 0 out of 10. Which brings me to my next point. At my last school, Star Hill Primary. Do you think she'll be strict? Star be it for me to judge. No. Got to star now. <laughs> I want you to enjoy your right to an education, but if I see people misbehaving or disrespecting other people's rights, there will be consequences. Ugh, what did I do? Great, she's just started and she's already got it in for me. Brilliant. Thank you for listening so attentively, children. I very much look forward to getting to know you much better over the coming weeks and months. So what do you think about Miss Pendragon? Yeah, she was pretty nice, wasn't she? Yeah, she seemed okay. What? No, it depends about her being like a dragon. Winty, have you met our friend Jessica? Now, now, what's the first rule of joke club? I don't know, we never talk about it. We never make fun of things which people have never chosen for themselves. Sorry, Mr. Bear. No, you're right, she didn't choose her name. Exactly, no. 
think this will be really good for her. She's pen dragging her feet on Star Hill. So I think this headship will be the making of her. Oi! Haha! <laughs> it was too good to resist. Sorry. Well, I my mom said that she might be one of those. You know. What? Magicians. What? She says that Pendragon is an old magical name and her and her family must be connected somehow. But I mean, magic doesn't really exist, right? People can't do it. Jess is okay. She, I don't think she'll be doing anything bad. In fact, I think it'd be awesome if she had a magical adventure. Do you? Yeah, I think it would be amazing. I would love to do magic, would you? Well, yeah, me too. But then my mum would, would have to take me to experiment. Your mum would do what? But so, um, um, but, no, sorry, I shouldn't have. Daisy, does your mum experiment on people who can do magic? Oh, I'm not supposed to have said anything. I thought your mum was a florist. What happens to them afterwards? I mean, what happens to them after your mum has finished with the magical people? I don't know, I'm sorry, I don't agree with you, but these people might be dangerous. My mum is just trying to find out more about them. Right then, I realised my enemies were closer than I'd ever imagined. I went over to Daisy's house all the time. What if her mum knew? What if she'd been monitoring me? I felt sick. Mo, that's enough. The bell's gone. Mo! I didn't even do anything! Excuse me? You're excused? Go to Miss Pendragon's office right now. What? This is zero tolerance for this kind of behaviour. Miranda? Daniel, what do you want? How are you? No, thank you. I'm sorry? I haven't got the patience for your small talk. What do you want? So here's this thing. You'll probably think I'm being out of line here. But I'm just going to come out and say it. I've been talking to my lawyers and I think I've been paying you too much child support. Excuse me? Listen, Mo's a freak, and I have no interest in spending my money on him. You're right. I'm sorry? You're absolutely right. I do think you're being out of the line. I don't want your money, Daniel. And neither does Mo. We don't want anything to do with you. You never call here again. If you ever call my son a freak again... Where are you going, son? Bed! <sighs> I love you, son. Come in! That was definitely a cauldron, right? I mean, is she a witch? Can she do magic? Where has she got her cauldron at school? Surely she should keep it at home. Mo, I've asked you a question and I'd like you to answer. Yeah, I've got a question for you too, mate. I'm sorry, my sir. I got into a... I was being rude to Mr Granger and I promise it won't happen again. Thank you for your honesty, Mr Setter. How does she know my last name? I know everyone's last name. What? Nothing. I'm going to give you a morning, Mo. Watch your behaviour. We all have things in our lives that make us feel angry, alone, different. But it is our choices that define us, not our abilities. Do you understand? Yes, Miss. Dad said I couldn't possibly do that because it ruined my hair. Quite right, too. How about you, Manuel? How was your day? 
Fine. We met Miss Pendragon at her assembly. Let me guess. You still think she's a witch? She gave me a really weird look. I think she knows. Knows what? That we can do magic. Don't be so silly. How can she possibly know? I've got a bad feeling about her. I'm going to see if I can find out more about her. Okay, Sherlock, but I'm pretty sure you'll be disappointed. Miss Pendragon's ring is magical. I do, and I think she can do magic. Yeah, I mean, I think I've never met anyone magical before, but I think that Pendragon's a old magical name. Yeah. Have you noticed anything unusual whilst you've been following her? Well, no, not exactly, but you've got a feeling. Yeah, exactly. Let's keep an eye on her together, shall we? Okay. for about now, what, two weeks? What do you reckon? I don't trust her. Me neither. Not because of the magic thing. No, not at all. She's just... A bit... Creepy. Yeah. She always looks like she's up to something. And trying to hide something. Yeah. Could Jessica Corridan, Regina and Manuel Parr, and Mo Seller please report to Miss Pendragon's office? That's Jessica Corridan, Regina and Manuel Parr, and Mo Seller to Miss Pendragon's office, please. What are you in for? I haven't got a clue. I haven't done anything. She knows. What did you say? Oh, yes. You're here. Come in. Sit down. Now, I'm sure you all know exactly why you're here. Oh man, I've never been in trouble before. Please don't call mum and dad. I have been at Colgrave for precisely one month now, and in that time, I began to get to know many of the staff and students here. 
I bet Manuel told Mr. Bro about the time accident called him a name, that little snick. Mo, how long have you been on the football team? Oh no, am I getting thrown off the team? Is this because I saw her cauldron? Pardon? The football team, how long have you been on it? Um, since the end of year three. But it's the year five and six team. Yeah, Miss Walters let me go early. Hmm, and Regina. Hi. Was that it? How long have you been on the team? Am I in trouble or not? Yes, Miss Pendragon, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, yes, Miss Pendragon. How long has it been since you've actually helped tidy the classroom? I'm sorry? I see lots of things as I walk around school. One thing I've noticed is that you seem to disappear every time it's time to tidy up. It's almost like magic. Magic. Everyone knows that doesn't really exist, Miss B. Oh my, she knows. Hang on a sec. Can we all... Are we all... Oh man, what's she gonna do? Ah, oh, children, your faces. It's okay, I know. Know what, miss? I know that you can do magic. What do you mean? What? No, I never! That, that's ridiculous. What, what makes you think that? Oh, but look at your poor faces. Children, I won't tell anybody. Don't worry. It's funny. I thought that when most was in my cauldron and Jessica and Manuel began following me around the school that you'd worked it out. Worked what out? This! Wait, so? You can do magic! Come, come, there's no need to be shy. We're all the same, you and I. So you... And you... And you too as well? I thought I was the only... Obviously there's been a huge mistake. My brother and I cannot do magic. Regina. Thank you for your time Miss Pendragon. I won't tell anyone about your abilities. But I don't want my family dragged into this. Reg, she knows. Manuel, how do you pretty do me take it for experiments? I don't want any part of this, wherever this is. Well, I'm glad you asked, actually. I remember all too well what it was like trying to manage my abilities whilst trying to keep them hidden from the people I knew and loved. If you'll let me, I should very much like to teach you how to control your powers. We'll meet here every morning to practice spells and discover more about your particular abilities. With the right training, why magic can change your life. We can call it the Magic Club! Well, I rather think that might give the game away. How about... Wait... Are we in trouble or not? Far from it, Mo. This is a good thing. A chance for you to learn and grow as a user of magic. Okay. Can you really teach us how to do spells? Of course! The Pendragon Posse! I beg your pardon? The name of our club! Could it be the Pendragon Posse? Absolutely not. But I'm glad you're excited. How about you, Regina? This could be your chance. Those invisibility spells you've been casting to get out of tidying up. I beg your pardon? Oh, Regina, nobody else knows, but I say a lot more than anybody else. Anyway, those spells are all well and good, but don't you want to see what else you could do? See how powerful you could be? But what's the point? Nobody will ever know. Come on, Reg, give it a go. One week. Give it a go for one week. And if you choose not to come back, we won't mind. Fine, one week. Excellent. Then it's settled. Pen's Dragon Posse, for want a better name, will meet here every morning at 9am. I'll let your teachers know. But I'll say we're working on a special project. Don't worry. I can't believe you never told me. Well, you didn't tell me either. And Mo, I can't believe we never knew. And you, Regina. Yeah. You'll love
Pendragon. Hello children, Miss Pendragon was called into a meeting a little while ago. She said to go in, she won't be long. Thank you, Mrs. Tinsley. I hope she comes soon. I really want to show her. Mammy, watch the door. Huh? Watch the door. I don't know what this is. Reg, you can't. Miss Pendragon said not to. Since when do you care what teachers say to do? But Miss Pendragon's different. Yeah, I don't think you should. OMG, it's gorgeous. Look, it's got markings on it. Reg? Maddy, it's fine. Come and see. Uh, I think you should. <gasps> what on earth? What is it? There's a... <gasps> Guys, help! I can't let go! What are you talking about? Just take a hand off. Help me, please! Stay calm, everyone. Miss Pendragon will be here soon. She'll know what to do. I can't fight it. What if it's... <gasps> Miss Pendragon, please help us, Miss Pendragon. Heal. Miss Pendragon, what is that creature? My ticket. For what? Taking over the world. Taking over the... Miss Pendragon, are you being serious? Oh, I'm being serious, all right. Deadly serious. But you were so kind and you taught us... Oh, no. I taught you enough so the orb would recognise you as magical beings. Now that you have released really Scorpius, he will kill every non-magical person in sight. And I can begin my reign as a new ruler of a new and glorious magical kingdom. Again. I like a joke as much as the next person, but are you being serious? Yes, you fool. I've used you all, and now I have what I want. Your lives will be spared, and don't count your friends or family so lucky. Scorpius, fly! <laughs> magic in front of everyone in front of everyone so long reputation okay here's what we're gonna do everyone ready okay here we go okay mom well, are you ready yes Let's go.
Come on, Jess. You can do this. I believe in you. What you've done is nothing short of incredible. Are you going to report us? Yes. I know what. To my sister, the Prime Minister, your efforts will not be unrewarded. The, the Prime Minister? That, sir, she's been waiting to make magical experiments illegal. So, in the end, it turned out that we didn't need to be secretive about our abilities. We learned how to be loud and proud. My reputation got so much better once people found out how talented I was. And I learned that the best magic of all isn't being able to move things, or turn invisible, or disguise yourself, or make people forget things. But those are all great skills. The best magic of all is being proud of yourself and making good friends. Oh Mo, you're so cheesy these days. You love it. <laughs> <laughs> 